everybody. Today in this PSLE 2015 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 16. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there and think beyond the boundaries for really tough questions. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 16. Okay, so question 16 has two parts to solve it, part A and part B. So I'll be going through part A right now and later in this video part B, okay? So this question is testing us on grouping and gap and difference. So these are two concepts, grouping and gap and difference, okay? So let's read the question first. Pei Yi and Jamo bought potter plants at prices shown below. So these are the prices. So large potter plants, two for $15 and small potter plants, three for $10. Okay, so I'm sorry that the image is a bit unclear, okay? So, part A. Pei Yi bought an equal number of large and small potted plants. She spent $175 more on the large ones. Okay, how many potted plants did she buy altogether? Okay, so this is the question. Now that we have read the question, we should highlight the keywords, okay? So Pei Yi and Jemma bought pot of plants at prices shown below. So these are the prices, okay? Okay, so Pei Yi bought an equal number of large and small pot of plants. She spent $175 more on large one on the large ones that means 175 dollars more was spent on the large than the small okay so they're asking how many potter plants did she buy all together okay so these are the key words now that we have highlighted them let's move on to solving the question so since they have told us since the question is telling us that Pei bought an equal number of large and small, we should use the, you see 2 for $15 and 3 for $10, 3 and 2 are not the same, right? So we should make that the same. So we should find the lowest common multiple for 2 and 3. So that is basically 6. Okay, so how did we get 6? So 6, basically we just need to list it down. So multiples of 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then we list down multiples of 3. 3, 6. I see 6. 6 is here. So 6 is the lower cost, lowest con common multiple. 3, 6, 9, 12. Okay? So 6 is the lowest common multiple. So this is how we get it. Okay, so now she spent $175 more on the large ones. Okay, now that we have made the common multiple the same, right? The lowest common multiple. So now that both of them are the same, we need to find the price of the same, right? So the large. So 6 is basically 6 in the form of equals to, okay? Is basically three sets of two for fifteen dollars. So three of these. We need three of these because three times two will give us six. So three times two will give us six. That is why we need three sets of two for fifteen dollars. So we just need to take in order to find the price, we just need to take three times fifteen dollars, which will give us forty-five dollars. Okay. And then now we do the same things for the small. So six in terms of the Lowest common multiple, okay? So we need 2 times 3 in order to get 6. So 2 sets of 3 for $10. So in order to find the price, we just take 2 times $10, okay? So it is 2 times $10, which will give us $20. Now, we need to find the difference for both of these. Because they told us she spent $175 more on the large ones. Okay, so we find the difference between the large and the small. 45 minus $20, which will give us $25. Is $175 and $25 the same? No, so it must be wrong. So this is where the concept of gap and different comes in, okay? So the big difference minus the small difference. 
so the big difference is 175 dollars right this is what is supposed to be the difference right well the difference is only 25 dollars so let's divide them so we should divide them sorry there's a typo in the slides over here so it should be divide okay okay so 175 dollars divided by 25 dollars so this will give us the number of groups now the groups groups are also sets okay so it will give us seven sets or groups okay any any word you like okay so it's seven seven is the answer over here so it takes seven of the twenty dollars of small and seven of the large forty five dollars okay which will give us hundred seventy five dollars so the large is equal to six and the small is equal to six okay and one set is equal the the total of one set is equal to six plus six which is twelve right so there are total seven sets in one set there are twelve so in seven sets how are how many are there so it's twelve times seven which is equal to eighty four so eighty four is the answer right um, I, I, I don't think you understand at this part, right? Because um, one set it is 6 plus 6, which is 12. Okay? So the large and the small are equal number at all times. So if you find 7 sets of each one, so 7 sets of large and 7 sets of small, it will give us 42 and 42. So they are equal amounts, okay? So 42 plus 42 is equal to 84. That's also an alternate method. Okay, so I hope you understand this part now. Okay? So if you want to check, right, you can check it. So if you want to check, you just need to take 42 with 7 sets times 20 times $45, okay? And 7 times $20, okay? And then you just uh, find the difference. I, it will be $175, okay? So then you know that it is correct. So let's move on to part B. So JML spent an equal amount of money on the large and small potted plants. What fraction of the potted plants were large? Okay. So this one, let's highlight the key information. So Jawan spent an equal amount of money. Instead of the pots, right, he spent an equal amount of money, not buying the pots at an equal amount. Okay, it's the money on the large and the small potted plants. What fraction of the potted plants were large? Okay, so they're asking us fraction. Okay, now we just need to find the common multiple of dollars, fifteen dollars and ten dollars because they are asking, because they told us equal amount of money, but fifteen and ten is not equal. So those common multiple of fifteen dollars and ten dollars is thirty dollars. Okay, so basically. Um, thirty dollars is. How do you get this? Is basically you list it down. Fifteen, uh, thirty, okay, and then ten, twenty, thirty. So thirty is the lowest common multiple, okay. So these are bigger multiples. So since you can use the calculator for this, you don't need to worry about this. It's easier to find the common multiple. Now. Since we have found the lowest common multiple, $30, now we can take $30 minus $15 and to find the number of large water plants. Okay, so we take $30 divided by $15, which will give us 2. So this is how we find the number of large water plants. Okay, and next, it is 2 times 2. So 2 is basically the number of large water plants. And this 2 is for 2 for $15. So it is 4 here. So Jamel bought of 4 large water plants. Okay, but it's, we cannot assure that it is 4 because um, maybe there's more. Okay, there's like 1, 2, 3, more of them. But for now, since they are asking us fraction, everything should be simplest form. That's why you can take it as 4. Now the number of small, in order to find that, we take $30 divided by $10, which will give us 3. Okay, 3. This 
3, right, is the number of small potted plants. So, this 2 and 3 goes together. Okay, we can take it like that. And so, we take 3 times 3. So, this is this tree over here. And this tree is the tree for $10, which is equal to 9. Okay, 9. So, there are 9 small potted plants that Gemma bought. Okay. So, in any case, this is just for fraction purposes. If not, there will be much more, okay? Or maybe this is the lowest possible, okay? So, we do not know. But since it is fraction, right, we should always leave our answer in the simplest form. That is why we are doing this. So, now that we have the number of large and number of small, they are asking for the fraction of the potted plants that were large. So, in order to do that, we need to know the total number of potted plants, right? So, it's basically the large plus the small 4 plus 9 which is or 9 plus 4 which is 13 there are four large potted plants so it's basically 4 over 13 so this is the answer for part b okay so this is how you do part b also so thank you and i hope you understand my explanation for parts a and b for question 16 and so thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you next time.